it's Ella and welcome or welcome back to my channel for another vlog and today is the 15th of March and I thought I was not going to do a weekly vlog this week um, because I thought that I was not going to have really any news uh, but obviously it's only the second day of the week and I have news. Unfortunately, I do not have good news to catch anyone up to date. Um, my left arm has been paralyzed for since Christmas basically and both of my legs are but they have been since July of 2020. And I was waiting to go in a rehabilitation clinic. Um, to get the help I need to get back to moving again, especially my arm. Um, and two weeks ago, well, a week and a half ago, I got the approval of my insurance. But we never heard back from the clinic or anything. And we were starting the thing that it was a little weird. Um, and today I went to the physio, physical therapy, which is uh, right across the street from my medical center where I have my primary care doctor so my mom went there while I was um, having my appointment and what she discovered is that they forgot to tell us that the clinic actually responded they responded saying that I was not welcome there they would not take me knowing that it is the only clinic in the country that already welcomed me once. I went there this summer, but I was registered for another thing. I had gastro um, intest intestinal problems, and the stay was justified for that. And then I was supposed to go back in the fall and they accepted it, but my insurance didn't so I couldn't go. And then this time my insurance uh, said yes and the very next day um, they said no, which means um, it was like the 4th of March, so over 10 days ago now, and no one told us. Um, so. I don't know, I'm very mad at myself because I got all excited and I know that nothing ever goes well. It never did. I don't know why I thought that it could go any different. So I'm very mad at myself for believing for a split second that it would be possible. So yeah, um, but we discovered that the reason why is because my paramaker doctor told them that my paralysis is due to a dissociative um, sickness, I don't know how it's called really, a dissociative disorder or something, which is obviously not what I have. I have neurological functional disorder, which is different it's neurological dissociative is uh i think primary um um like a psychological issue at least from what i know of which means that because he didn't give them the right medical history about me they said that they can't do anything for me when in reality, my problem is that I need physical therapy and stuff like that, which is they have and they can do for me. So, I don't know what to do. I'm very mad at my primary care doctor because he knows what I have. I don't know what the hell he told, he, he was thinking when he did that, but he said that paralysis came from a dissociative state, which it I don't think it's impossible, but it's wrong. So I'm like scared because he had to file reports for me to get on disabled uh, 
pay. Um, it's basically where you get uh, paid for what you can't work because you're disabled. And I applied for that and he had to file a report and like answer questions on why I need that. And he, if he said that to them, I'm never going to get any help. So I am very scared. And I think I may be in a big troubles. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, it kind of ruined the day. And today is my father's birthday. So, not very fun. Um, actually, technically right now, they are all at a birthday dinner in their, in a, at a local restaurant. I decided not to go because food and me don't mix well. Um, since my migraines has been getting worse, I skip a lot of meals because nausea. Um, and the thought of mo- uh, the th the th the thought of of food makes me want to gag all the time so being in a place where one i can't eat two i am surrounded by food is a nightmare so i didn't go which is fine um but yeah it's a horrible day um i'm gonna um, get an update probably tomorrow uh, we sent uh, an email to the clinic uh, explaining exactly that my doctor is wrong. He doesn't know what I have, which is embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I will keep you up to date. It is now Thursday and I have some updates for you guys. Sorry for the weird lighting. Um, it's not been really... A great rather here um, but yeah I have some updates uh, in two days a lot has happened I think I mentioned that my mother contacted the clinic I was supposed to go to and they replied yesterday saying that I am too disabled for them now because of my arm that is also paralyzed which means that they they are not willing to take me and um, my parents try to find another place where I could go but um, most of the clinic in the country already said no to take me last year and this summer when we were searching for somewhere for me to go uh, we found one last one um, but we are running into some issues with insurance because it is out of state <laughs> so basically um, I call them state it's not their name but my country has 26 state um, meaning that um, if you go out of stage to get treatment you have to pay extra it's the same for school if you go out of state for school you have to pay and stuff like that um which means that i am having some issues with that um so we went to my medical center to give all our research to my doctor because he didn't do anything when he got the rejection 10 days ago he didn't try to search for something else he did not do anything which is quite frankly infuriating but i can't do anything about it so yeah um yeah, I will update when I have more updates, but I will probably not have any updates because my doctor starts um, vacation next week, which means that tomorrow and then he's not there anymore for a while. So probably nothing will happen and it's okay. Today I went to the chiropractor as always. Um, right when I left well in the office I got completely paralyzed I did ho um but he worked on 
my neck and my head so hopefully i should have less migraines um so that's a good thing and so i spent most of my day paralyzed and then we went to my medical center to convince my doctor that i need help so yeah that's basically where i'm at right now and i will see you guys another time It is now Friday and I wanted to give some news because yesterday I went to see my doctor and yeah it didn't start very well. I don't, I don't even know if there's a word for when something is bad worse and then is even worse. <laughs> Because this is my week. Um, I feel like this is all a big joke. Um, because yesterday um, I went to see my primary care doctor because he's the one that needs to send the applications to go to the clinic we found. Um, it's kind of our, our last hope. And what he said is that there is no way my insurance is gonna cover it because it's a luxurious clinic or something like that and basically we would have to pay 13,000 Swiss francs for me to stay there for three weeks and that's on top of what the insurance would cover so <laughs> It's kind of super expensive and we don't really have the money for that. Um, and because there, probably there is no way I'm going to go there. So that's kind of out of the picture. Added to that, um, my dad had uh, an appointment with a surgeon and he will need surgery and he's he has his surgery date. It's going to be the, th the 2nd of May, which means that by the 2nd of May, I need to be better because he will not be able to lift more than like 10 kilos for six weeks, I think, uh, which I'm six times that, so he won't be able to help anymore. Um, so it's kind of a misery for that. And then this morning I woke up and my dad um, took um, a COVID auto test, which was positive. Which means that now my dad has COVID and I have a stuffy nose and I was coughing last night and I've just been really bad this morning. I did take a note of test which was negative but I'm going to take another one in one or two days because we think I might have it and it's like really in the beginning so I'm, my test is not positive yet. I feel like this is, this is just a big joke right now. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, 
I'm so sorry if I always touch my nose. It's really itchy and not really doing good. Technically, I've been kind of sick for two days. Um, but I have pollen allergies and I thought that's all it was and that it was really bad this year because I was um, sneezing and like not being able to breathe but I thought it was just that because it's I didn't know <laughs> and all that I know for my dad I'm like e maybe that's what I have because it's been worse for the past two days but also I've been outside more and all the flowers around are blooming and like spring is settling in so I thought that it was only that but yeah this week was a roller coaster and not in a not in a good way um I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I think it's pretty long and I will obviously give you guys updates and all of that um, in the next vlog so if you don't want to miss that then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my next upload and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!